story, we now know that person who drowned in Morris Reservoir yesterday was a well-known student athlete at UND. Police confirm the victim is Dejon Parker, a basketball player for the Greyhounds. You first saw this unfold as breaking news here on RTV6. Jack Reinhardt joins us live tonight from the UND campus with the very latest. Jack. Just a short time ago, the Hamilton County Coroner's Office issued a ruling on the uh, death of uh, Day John Parker, uh, ruling that uh, preliminarily that it was an accidental drowning. A DNR investigator told me they do not suspect any foul play. Now, the young woman who was driving the boat was given both a field sobriety test and a portable breath test. She passed both, but since there was a death involved, she was driven to a hospital to give a blood draw. Dejan Parker was a senior and a member of the school basketball team with his whole life in front of him. The school issued a statement that read in part that the entire university community mourns his loss. He was characterized as a vibrant personality with a great future. The school asked for prayers. Parker and three others were boating and tubing yesterday afternoon on Morse Reservoir. Parker was knocked from the tube by a wave. He could not swim, and an even bigger tragedy, he was not wearing a life vest or flotation device. It's tragic, and it's, it's you know, every year we do these types of interviews to talk about water safety, to talk about the importance of putting a life jacket on, the importance about water safety, and uh, the fact that this young man lost his life yesterday is a tragedy, and it absolutely could have been preventable. Already this year, the IFD's dive team has been called out 11 times to make recoveries and rescues. The most recent call out occurred Tuesday evening when a 12 year old drowned in a pool at a northeast side apartment complex. There was no lifeguard on duty at the time. The fact that that 12 year old drowned in that pool, you know, the one thing that I teach my kids is never, never go in the water by yourself. Always swim with a buddy. You've always got to have a swimming partner with you because if you cramp, if you get into trouble, your swimming partner can either help you or go for help to get you out of that situation. Now, the state of Indiana law requires that everyone on a watercraft must have in their possession at least a life jacket, but that same state does not require anyone to wear one. Now, the the events and uh, the circumstances attendant to Parker's death will probably play out over the next couple of weeks. Reporting live, Jack Reinhardt, RTV6.